All right. All right. All right. Hey, guys. Let's not get it stuff out. Natalie. Natalie Lucas. Come on, guys. Everybody over here. Come on over here. The blue chairs. The blue chairs. People are going to be able to see you. The red chairs. People are not. So, if you want to. It depends on where you want to sit. No. 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 Have a seat. Very nice, very nice. Natalie. Natalie, come on, big girl. All right. I'll scoot this over. And very good. I'm squished. I'm too squished. Oh, my word. And then, uh, you get all right. Y'all here? Welcome to Children's Chapel. Welcome to, hello, everyone. Welcome to Children's Chapel. Hello, everyone. Uh, Welcome to Children's Chapel. Yes. 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 All right. I'm Deacon Chris. And here, let's share names. What's your name? Peyton. This is Peyton and Miranda. And Miranda. And Lucas. Lucas. And yeah. Natalie. All right. Uh, Very Peyton. good. Very good. Come on in. Come on in. We got a couple more seats over here for you. Two more seats. Just make sure you step over some of the cords, okay? There you go. Very nice. Very nice. All right. So, I have a question for you all. Have any of you all ever been to a place that was just awesome? Uh, it was just really, really, really cool. Where? Jellystone. Yeah. Jellystone. Jellystone is one of the places you went that was really, really, really cool. Yeah, where? The Hyatt Resort. The Hyatt Resort. Ooh, that sounds fancy. All right. Anybody else? Been and done something that was just really, really awesome. What? The bike park where we did all those jumps. Oh, the bike park? Colo Bike Park? Oh. Yeah. One other place that was cool is we went to. I forgot. I. Somewhere cool, I jumped off cliffs. You jumped off cliffs? Whoa. Yeah. There's a place like that. I think there's a place like Inks Lake or something like that. Is oh, that yeah. the, the, the is, 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 is that it? Yeah. So, yeah, I've done that. I went on a one time. I, you reminded me. I went on a canoe trip one time, and we had a whole lot. We were going, and about halfway down the canoe trip, we stopped, and we put all of the boats on the side. And then the, the guide, the person that was taking us down the river, said, hey, this is a great spot to jump off of a giant rock. And I was like, huh? And there was a giant rock, and it was about two or three times as high as I was. And, yeah, you could jump off the rock into the deep water. And I said, yeah, this is your chance to do it. And so I did it. I almost did a belly flop because I jumped and then started to go forward, and I didn't know how to stop, and I almost did a belly flop, but it was still fun. Yeah. She jumped off so, the top. So if you've ever done something really, really cool, so Jellystone or a bike park or the Hyatt Resort – have you ever really just wanted to tell somebody about it? Yeah? Have you ever enjoyed it so much that you really just wanted to take somebody else to do it with you? Yeah? In what? Idaho trip. On our Idaho trip, yeah? You just wanted to take somebody with you? I know. Have I you know. ever done that? What? So say. Uh, what? Wait, wait, wait. Have, have you ever done something so cool that you really just wanted to take somebody to do it with you? Chilling. Well, so your thing, because I did it with you. So, Lucas, we did a bike park. And the bike park um, had lots of, like, hills and stuff like that. And so you could get going on a bike and you could do all these, like, hills. And we had a whole lot of fun the first time. So the second time, we wanted to go back. This was on our trip this summer. We wanted to go back. And so he told our uh, his cousin and invited her to go with us and so she took a bike and went with us and so she got to do it and got to have fun doing it too right so if you ever want to take somebody with you have you ever asked mom and dad or grandma and grandpa and said can we take can i take a friend to jellystone you ever said that or have you ever 
Have you ever told a friend, can I take a friend to jump off a cliff? Yeah? That's what I would do. That's what you would do? <laughs> have you ever said, can I take a friend to go to the Hyatt Resort? No. No? You haven't done that? No. Just me? <laughs> just, just me? Nobody else wants to take friends to do this kind of stuff? No? It doesn't really I just feel scary. Yeah? I just, I just what? Didn't. Molly, has there any been anything you did that was just so awesome? No? You went to Yeah. So we've done lots of really, really cool things. Lots of, like, crazy things. So, oh, um, I would rather take a friend on a darkest I know slide. I know oh, no, a slide? I know. Yeah, a dark one. A dark slide? All right, all right, what? I, um, one of them is um, when, when, when we kept on, when we went to the um, aquarium, the, and we, I really wanted to go see the dolphin show. Yeah, yeah, you really wanted to see the dolphin oh, show. Oh yeah. Yeah. I to go pet the yeah, dolphin that oh, Yeah, yeah. Okay, so the reason we're talking about this, okay, is uh, one of the readings that we have for this week. So every week we have different readings from the Bible, yeah. and one of the readings is from the book of James. Okay. Who's James? And the book of James. James is one of the disciples, one of the apostles. Like our friend James, like. No, Mr. not our friend James. This is, <laughs> no, this is uh, James from a long, 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 long time ago. Okay? Long, 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 so, long, but the long, book of James long, 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 long. is all about how we live out our faith. How we can um, do things for other people that show love. How we can do things for other people the way that Jesus did things for other people. And so James talks about being doers of the word. And we talked about that a little bit in our worship service last week, about being doers of the word. And in our reading for, from last week and from this week in James, it's all about how we do things, we live out our faith. But here's the reason that James wrote it. And here's the reason that James wanted us to know about all these things. is just like when you all experience something really, really awesome, and you want to tell other people about it, and you want to invite other people to do it. In the same way, James had experienced God's love. And when James experienced God's love, he thought it was so awesome, he wanted to tell everybody else about it. Okay? And then, on top of that, when he experienced God's love, and God invited him to do some crazy things, to do some uh, awesome things to showing God's love, he wanted to invite other people to do it with him. So that's one of the things that I do. So I was thinking about this morning, I was thinking about different times that I have done really, really awesome things. And I thought of two things. The first thing I thought about was when I was in third grade, just finished third grade, I was, uh, my grandparents sent me to summer camp. And when, he, when they sent me to summer camp, I got to go to camp and got to have a whole lot of fun. And I thought it was really awesome. And then, when I was in college, when I was about 20 years old, I got a job working in a summer camp. And I thought it was the coolest thing because I found all the ways which God was helping me to show love to other people. And so I got to do things like help kids have fun I got to do things like sing songs. I got to do things like lead prayers. I got to do things like swim with kids and help them learn how to do things like canoeing and all this other cool stuff. And I wanted so much to help other people do that. And so just like James, I wanted to invite as many people as possible to go to camp, to experience camp. I also wanted to make sure that other people got a chance to work at camp. So that's why every year we invite kids to go to camp if you're in second grade and up, we invite kids to go to camp because it's so awesome to go to do things like sing songs and to canoe and swim and all these activities at camp. And also, hold on, buddy. hold your thoughts. Easy. Um, but also, I invite different people. So we had someone from our church named Katie, and she worked at camp this summer. And so she got a chance to work at camp and to experience what it's like to have God use you. And next week, the other thing I thought about next week is God's Work Our Hands weekend when we get the chance to serve other people. 
and how awesome it is when we get a chance to share those experiences, share God's love, and to do things for other people. All right? So here's what we're going to do. I know one. What? I know Say, one. Share one real quick. My activity, dodgeball. Dodgeball? Okay. Oh, yeah, and Gaga Ball. Oh, Gaga Ball. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and experience, yeah. And uh, you enjoyed playing Gaga Ball that you wanted to invite a whole lot of other people to play, didn't you? And, and once I... Once I I beat Sebastian. Yeah. And so Gaga Ball is fun, even if you don't win. It's just fun to do that and have fun with other people, right? Yeah. All right, yeah. so let's let's fold our hands, and we are going to pray, and then we're going to sing a song, okay? So let's fold our hands. Hippopotamus? We're going to do the hippo song today. Yes. yes. All right, so let's fold our hands. Repeat after me. Say, Dear God, Dear God thank you so much for today. Thank you so much for today. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your love. Thank you for inviting us to share your love. Help us to invite others to share your love with us. Amen. All right, so we're going to do the hippo song requested by her. So here's what we're going to do. Let's move, we got to move the chairs because this song is a movement song, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so let's move the chairs. All right. All right, here we go. All right. Do we have to stack them? No, no, no. You can just set them down. Just scoot them over because it's song time. We'll clean up in a minute. All right, here we go. All right, so for those of you that haven't done the hippo song before, you get your C's going. Are right, you ready? All right, here we go. Get your C's going. And it's in the beginning God made the C's. And the forest filled with trees. God made the mountains up so high. Above it all, God placed the sky. God's oh, fingerprints God. are everywhere. Just to show how much God cares. In between, he had lots of fun. Made a hippo that weighs a ton. Hip, 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 a bottom us. Hip, hip, ray, God made all of us. Hip, 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 a bottom us. Hip, hip, ray, God loves all of us. Faster! Faster? Okay, oh. now. We're going to be faster, but you guys are way too good at the hippopotamus part. So, for added difficulty, you can do the hippopotamus while you spin around. Okay? Okay? Got to make it more difficult. You ready? She's going. All right, here we go. In the beginning, God made the seas. In the forest, filled with trees, God made the mountains up so high. Baba da God placed the sky. God's fingerprints are everywhere. Just to show how much God cares. In between, had lots of fun. Made a hip that weighs a ton. Hip and hip the bottom of us. Hip and break, God made all of us. Hip and hip the bottom of us. Hip and break, God loves all of us. Faster! Oh, yeah, faster. Steve's going. All right. Oh, no, now he's stuck in spinning mode. Uh oh. In the beginning, main trees, and the forest of the trees, and main mountains up top. Better really have a hit, basic guy, got fingerprints are everywhere. Just to show how much God cares in between, lots of fun. May I have a way to duck, hit a bit of a bottom, and super break, I made all of us, hit a bit of a bottom, and super break, I loved all of us. Faster! Faster? Fastest! Alright, here we go. Fastest! It'd be a little bit of a That was that was a fast hippo. Have you ever met a fast hippo? That's a fast hippo. All right, here we're gonna close up with the Lord's prayer. All right, so let's fold our hands and we're gonna pray together. Okay, I'm gonna count us down. Okay, three, two, one. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. All right. Thank you all very much for coming. Thank you all very much for joining us online, and we will see you all next week. All right? Bye.